everyone. Today we'll be talking about the premiere of the TV series Shadowhunters on Freeform. I know this is kind of late, but I haven't really had time to film and stuff. But I have opinions on this. Like, I have two pages worth of opinions. So, let's get started. Okay, I just want to make clear, though, for this for this video, that these are my opinions. And my opinions aren't reflecting on the quality of the TV series. It's not saying whether the TV series really is good or bad. These are just my opinions alone and what I thought of it. And it's okay if you disagree with me. Opening scene. Let's talk about the opening scene. I loved it and I hated it. I loved it because it kind of gave you a slow entrance to the challenge, like kind of like this suspenseful beginning. It's like, ooh, what's going to happen next? This is interesting. But then I hated it because I felt like they were trying too hard and it was over dramatic type. Right now, I loved it. I watched this two times. Okay, one of my biggest pet peeves in books and movies, I get movies and books tend to veer away from the original plotline, but it's when they change the original details, like small details, like details that really shouldn't be changed. For example, in Shadowhunters, Luke is a cop slash detective and I don't know maybe the show is playing to have him be a detective worked into later episodes or maybe because of he's being a detective and investigating all these weird cases then it could give us as viewers more of a background to what's going on. I don't know it's just I don't know why film people change details like that like it was great how the book had it just why can't we just leave it like that and be happy in life. And that I didn't like how the TV version described Madame Dorothea. It was too young. I, then she gives her a gift for her birthday and just... And then this, this basically just contradicts the whole series this is about. It is when Larry's mother Jocelyn gives her Sally for her birthday. It's like, oh. It's a family heirloom. Okay, first of all, Jocelyn never wanted Clary to know about the shadow world. For example, in the books, Jocelyn never wanted Clary to know about the shadow world. And that's even why she went to Magnus to take away Clary's memories and her not to remember the supernatural stuff. Why would you give someone that if you don't want them to know about shadow hunters? Why, why does Clary have to be 18? Why can't she be 15 or going into 16 like she was in the Mortal Instruments here? Maybe because they thought Joss was going to tell her about being a shot hunter it makes sense because maybe Jocelyn feels like, well, she's 18 and an adult now, so she should know. I really liked how they pictured the New York Institute. I, I always picture the Institute kind of like this old type building. And I kind of like how they, the movie people, made it look really modern type. And then Simon has this band and this girl named Maureen. Like, who is Maureen? Like, Simon never had someone in the band named Maureen. That's another thing about it, like, at the beginning where Bates knocks into Claire. She's like, hey, hey why are you going? like, hey, you can see me? I don't know. I like the way the movie did it much better. I wasn't a big fan of the movie, but I liked the movie better compared to this episode. Because I feel like the movie did more along with the book than the TV show did. The TV show, I feel like a lot of it was changed where I was actually confused and I read the book. And it's not that I went into this movie with really high expectations, like this is going to be the best. But they didn't start out slow. They didn't do no, this is Clary's life and now slowly now we get to the Shadowhunter stuff. And I thought maybe they were going to end it with Jay saying like, we're Shadowhunters and dun dun dun, what happens next week type thing. But that didn't happen and that was okay. Like I'm not saying nothing wrong with it. I feel like the TV show just kind of forced it upon us before we even knew what was going on. It's like also, here's a bunch of demons and gods and we're going on. And by the way, we're Shadowhunters. And you're like, what? I mean, I, I just learned the main character's name was Clary. What? I don't know. It just, I was bored in. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. I was just really bored in because I think it was, there was no like relief and there was no okay here's gonna be a moment where we're just gonna figure out what's going on. I was always in battle 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 like constant battling throughout the whole thing and then it's over and so like I said I get that the TV show is not gonna be exactly like the book I didn't expect it to be any TV shows that are based off of books are nothing like the series and that's okay like, honestly because I never expected them to be exactly like it and I feel like that'd be boring if every season was a different book. Like, I, it would just get boring. Like, I honestly would probably just rather read the books than watch a TV show. So it's okay to add storylines or different points. But just as long as you have, like, the main idea, which they do, they have the mortal cup missing, okay. And that's good. Like, they at least have the main plot point. And it's okay if they add, like, storylines to it. That's okay. But I think for the premiere TV show, like, the first episode, they should make really close to the book. But then it's a better setup and foundation for the other movies like I mean after the first episode I really don't care if it's nothing like the books just make the first episode like the books so then you can kind of get Harry's background like I feel like they should have tried to make the first TV show like the book and then start changing things. You can leave the little details like okay Luke's a cop instead of a bookseller but make 
it like the book. Don't just throw me into all this action pack where I like the slow start and then we take off. So there was that one point where Luke is investigating this crime scene and his eyes just turn green. Luke doesn't have any superpowers. If he does, I missed in the book. And Like, that's my review. Like, I said, if you have a totally different opinion than me, that is great. Okay, I'm so glad you liked it. I was bored in it. I'm still going to watch the second episode because, like I said, it'll probably get better after that. I wish they would have made the first piece like the book. Then when you have people who are watchers who haven't read the books, they can at least get the foundation why Clary is like she is. And if they just would kept to the book that way and then started changing it, that would be okay. Sometimes you'll watch movies or TV shows and the actors look nothing like the character they're portraying. Like these characters look exactly like how you would picture the characters. I love Simon's character. I thought he was funny and some of the lines he said were awesome. But some of them, some of the parts were like really cheesy and you're like, ugh. No, just, just no. I probably would give this maybe a 2 out of 5 stars. Just the first episode, like I said, this is just the first, this is not saying this is the whole series going to be like this. Like, I'm planning to do another video at the end of the season to see if my opinion changed, which I hope it does, because I want to love this series. I really want to love this series, just I didn't like the first one, but now that I know it's nothing like the book, I could just put that aside and enjoy the series and see where, where the producers plan to take this. So anyways, thank you for watching. Bye!